Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and to a new video where today I'm going to be talking to you guys about Thought Park's brand new ghost train. So, of course, the park before this new announcement was Darren Brown's Ghost Train. You know, it was a great attraction at the park. It was the first VR headset thing they'd kind of ever done there and in Merlin altogether. And then it shut all of a sudden completely. No one really heard anything. It never opened. And then, of course, recently, Thought Park have announced they're opening their own Ghost Train. So this new ghost train is opening up this Friday, the 26th of May. I am super excited to see how the park kind of takes this new idea on. They've completely removed the headsets, so no VR at all. And they're also adding actors to it, which is super cool. And seeing some behind the scenes bits online from the actors' Instagrams, it seems like there's going to be quite a lot of them. So let's take a look at what has been posted online and what we know so far. Uploaded online, we of course know that Thought Park have got a brand new cafe, which, you know, is themed to the whole train thing. I can't wait to check this out myself, so I haven't checked it out this year. I completely forgot on my first visit to the park back in March. So I'm definitely going to be checking that out. And of course, that is going to be where the ride exit is. So who knows, we could see some people running out a little bit scared. Of course, online, there has been a couple of spoilers for the outside of the show building. So credit here to Theme Park Guide. This is going to be the sign that's obviously replacing Darren Brown and is becoming the Thought Park Ghost Train sign. Obviously, the new junction that we're going to be pulling in at and arriving. Will we make it? Who knows? I'm really loving that it's kind of following the blue colours. I do like that, that light blue. And I also really love kind of the old looking sign. It doesn't look perfectly new. I love the look that they've gone for with this sign and all the theming that's around it as well. Obviously, it's going to be the same queue line, kind of that cattle pen, and um, they haven't really changed that. It's just mainly the theming that they've obviously changed. So let's have a read of what is on the Thought Park website of what they've said about this ghost train. So Thought Park have said, say your final farewell. Depart the mortal world on a one-way ticket beyond the veil into darkness on Thought Park Resort's newest ride experience, Ghost Train. But watch your tracks, death is always one step ahead. Stop ahead. Now that's a little bit scary if you ask me. So then said this next generation of Ghost Train will take you on a harrowing ride into the realms beneath Thought Park Resort to where the supernatural believers call home. So, ghosts. Ghost Train is one of the UK's longest ride experience featuring live actors and a multi-sensory effects to create terrifying action like no other. So there's 100% going to be actors and of course it's going to be absolutely terrifying. I have also recommended this for 13 and over which kind of makes it think could it be similar to a scare maze or along those lines and then they said there's nothing virtual about this petrifying experience so be prepared to meet your maker as you come face to face with the horrors that dwell within so like i said no vr headsets this is all gonna be walked through and sitting on that train i'm assuming but it's all gonna be brand new Ride sensory information has also been uploaded, so we know there's going to be loud audio, sudden noises, artificial smells, strobe lighting, dark spaces, jump scares, live actors, seat vibrations and no seat, har seat harnesses. So we know that there's going to be no seat belt, so the seats are going to vibrate, kind of if you've done a 4D experience you might know something similar, um, and of course we're going to have those live actors, it's going to be very dark flashing lighting it's all kind of sounding honestly like it could be very good for fright nights which is making me really excited and of course we're boarding thought park rail so who knows what's in store and i absolutely love the concept art for this that hooded figure that no one can see reaching out to the train i think that is super cool and also that grim reaper that's a little bit scary and also, if you look deep into those pictures, you can definitely see some hidden Easter eggs. So I am so excited to experience opening day for this on Friday. I definitely feel like this is going to be such a great investment to the park. From what I've heard, like reading about it, it sounds awesome. It sounds like it's going to be terrifying, it's scary. And I think that's what we really need at the park. And I can't, like I said, wait to experience everything and see what they've gone for. So be ready to see that video up on my channel on Friday. And be warned, there will be spoilers in it about my experience and everything like that. And not only that, when I'm on park on Friday, I'm also going to be checking out Mardi Gras and Exodus. So stay tuned for those videos as well. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed my brief overview of talking about the new growth train at Thought Park. Will you be there on Friday or will you be experiencing it at another time? I'd love to hear your thoughts as well in the comments about the attraction. Make sure to comment, like and subscribe. We are so close to 800 subscribers. So I really appreciate any support on the channel. And I'll see you guys on Friday at the ghost train. Bye guys.